the King's College Old Boys Association has held a media roundtable to kick off the 111th annual King's Week of King's College. This year, it hopes to take steps to improve the quality of education sector in Nigeria pre and post the COVID-19 pandemic. Plus, TV Africa correspondent Adiban Keldinui has more details. A media roundtable to address the deteriorating quality of education and welfare of Nigerian students was held by the King's College Old Boys Association in a bid to mark the 111th anniversary of King's College. The theme of this year's event is education. We want the people to know what we've been doing thus far and what we're planning to do. And the theme for the anniversary this year is education, the way forward. What do we do about education? How do we fund education? What are the new ways of educating our children? Uh, however, this year, because of COVID uh, concerns, uh, we have zeroed in on just doing the lecture and uh, the AGM. It's those, both those events will be done um, partially physical. There will be a, a small group of people that will be physically uh, located at our assembly hall. And then we'll be Zooming to a broad audience across the world. The declining quality of education in Nigeria was decried, and it was noted that action to remedy this had to be taken as soon as possible by both the government and individuals. There must be a policy of education for all Nigerian children. Number two, government must put together the roadmap and the plan and the policies and the structure to make this possible. And one of the issues that we want to zero in on is the fact that publicly run schools are generally not well run. And so we want to take or propose to the government some other model where the private sector can come in and partner with the government to, um, to fund uh, education properly. The Old Boys Association expressed its plan to create a trust that will take over the running of the school while highlighting some of the issues the institution faces. They're not funding this school adequately. Uh, to some extent, we support them, even in terms of uh, supporting teacher payments and things like that. So, but it's all unofficial. So we're coming to say, let us help you. The association would rely on the reach and influence of Vice President Yemi Osibadjo, who is to give the keynote address to implement its resolution. It's not for nothing that the Vice President's Excellency uh, Yemi Osibadjo is uh, at the helm of this discussion. While he was the Attorney General of Lagos State, Lagos State handed over mission schools back to uh, their owners. It is the belief of the association that this step will pave the way for improving the quality of education in the country. For Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Odunui.